I'd like to share with you an example of an email that I received yesterday from the Dean of the Robbins College of Business and Entrepreneurship, Dr. Bannister, Mark Bannister, because it exemplifies some really good qualities of writing. Now, take a read. Almost all of you are working adults, and you know how much time you have to spend with email. Now, the face-to-face -face BCom 301 students do not use email because they're not working yet. And at the recent job fair, they had a task to find out how businesses used email. And all 27, or no, 23 students came back and said, everyone said we're on email all the time. And that absolutely amazed them. Well, Dr. Bannister started out with his first sentence. There are many reasons we delete email, because we shouldn't have received it in the first place, because the sender was overzealous and who she or he was sending it to. The topic is not of interest to us. Or worse yet, the email is endless pages long and we're all super busy. The best I think most of us will do on a long email on a busy day is to read the first paragraph or the first sentence. In short, what it counts to the executive summary. I know this is true for me. For example, when I was in Dublin last semester, the side discussions I had with my colleagues was much more valuable than what I was hearing on the screen. Quickly read this. This is an excellent example of providing examples. <laughs> I shouldn't say example of examples. This is an excellent incident of providing examples. Good business writing provides examples. Whether it's an email, a report, like you're writing. Now this is a long paragraph, so take a look. Notice how he has given a contrast. This is an, a form of analysis in which you're showing something different. And he used evidence with direct quotes. So, I hope your takeaway from this short slide set is be specific in your writing and provide examples. I'm looking forward to reading your first draft.